people in your group seem to have many emotional experiences. The media claims you do this in order to open up a person emotionally to your own control. Is this true? It's interesting, that question, because I find the media very manipulative on, in regard to this question. Because the media is constantly manipulating the fear of people in order to sell more magazines, sell more books, sell more TV space, sell more advertising space and so forth. And yet at the same time, they accuse me of being manipulating by stating the truth to people. Now, I also see the media stating lies to people in order to manipulate the emotion of fear. And they are accusing me of manipulating people by stating the truth to people. I find this a very, very manipulative uh, question, actually, from on behalf of the media. My feelings are this. If I was attempting to manipulate people's emotions by speaking lies to them, by threatening them, by blackmailing them, just as the media does, then I would definitely be a very manipulative person, just as the media are very much generally like. However, I do not do that. What I do instead is I speak the truth to people. And the truth does open people up emotionally. This is the important thing about truth, is it helps them work through issues of their own like, personal lives. This is a very, very important part of personal development. So my focus in my seminars is to speak the truth to people. If the people have an emotional response to that truth, then that is their emotional response. I haven't attempted to manipulate that response. I do not need them to have an emotional response. Although often I know they will have one because I've stated the truth to them, a truth which they feel inside, which, have, but which they have never allowed themselves to experience. So quite frequently that happens during my seminars. This is very, very different than taking the media uh, type of action, which is to state a heap of lies or mistruths or distortions of truth to people in order to manipulate their fear into doing something. That is definitely not what I agree with and I definitely do not do that myself. The media itself believes that when people are open emotionally, they are open to manipulation and control. I actually do not agree with this at all. I feel when a person is completely open emotionally, such as I am generally, you are completely unable to be controlled. The only time you can be controlled is when you're trying to suppress certain emotions. If I can give an example of this. If I am trying to suppress fear, let's say I'm trying to suppress a certain fear that I'm afraid that my mother never loved me. Let's say I'm afraid of that. Then every time somebody, somebody externally says to me, perhaps your mother didn't love you, or your mum does love you, they can manipulate me in any direction. They can state one thing or the other thing and I can be manipulated because I'm shutting down the emotion, my, my emotional experience. Now if I've gone through my emotions and I've realised that my mum doesn't love me, for example, that she's shown me through years and years of activity, of hatred and other emotions she's projected at me and the different ways in which she acted towards me all the way through my childhood, spanking me all the time, hitting me all the time, verbally abusing me all the time, and I would come to recognise that that's not love. And if I came to recognise that wasn't love and I grieved that and let go of that grief, I can forgive my mother for her behaviour towards myself. And from that moment on, I am unable to be manipulated about my mother because I know the truth. So I'm unable to be manipulated by somebody saying your mum really did love you or somebody saying your mum really hated you. I can't be manipulated in either direction because I now know the truth because I've allowed myself to personally experience it. Let's look at another example. Let's say I had some fear in my life. Let's say I was afraid of, of heights, just a simple uh, fear of a physical thing. If I hold on to this fear, then somebody can manipulate me with my fear of heights. They can manipulate my behaviour and my choices and my decisions because I am afraid of heights. 
But if I let go of my fear of heights through an emotional process, which will probably involve my parents and other emotions, once I work my way through these particular emotions about my fear of heights, once I've released my fear of heights completely, nobody can manipulate me through my fear of heights. They can put me on a high mountain and I won't be afraid. They can put me on the ground, I won't be afraid. They can stand me on a chair, I won't be afraid. They can take me on a plane, I won't be afraid. Because I can no longer be manipulated by the fear because the fear is now out of me. So the only time a person can truly manipulate me is if I hold on to an emotion without feeling it and releasing it. That's the only time they can manipulate me. Now, the media manipulates people that way all the time. What they do is they encourage people to live in their fear rather than releasing their fears. They do this by causing, by stating a lot of things that are happening around us, to us, over and over again, telling us that we should be afraid. And I'm saying to people, no, no, there's no such thing as you should be afraid. Once you release your fear, you will not be afraid of anything. You won't even be afraid of death once you release your fear. You won't be afraid of being harmed once you release your fear. You will engage your life in a perfectly desirous and, and passionate manner because you are no longer afraid of all of these external things happening. So it is very different what the media are doing. What the media are doing is they are manipulating the fear and trying to help the fear inside of people grow while what I am trying to do is help people release their fear and have the fear inside of them get smaller, reduce in size, because I know that when it reduces in size, they will have a more happy, desireful life, um, which is very, very different to having a more fearful life. <laughs>